Hi, we are officially live. Happy Thursday. Happy almost Labor Day weekend. We're so close. We're getting almost there. Um, and welcome to Pro Power Hour. Uh, this is a, a new series we've been doing for the last few weeks. I can't believe it. We're on session 14 now. Um, this is something that we've been doing every Thursday at 3 Pacific, 6 Eastern uh, since May. Um, I encourage you to be here every week. We kind of do a, a, a training webinar. We, we bring on... Um, uh, an onboarding specialist every single week, uh, and we do a feature focus. Sometimes we do one feature, sometimes we do a few. Kind of depends. Um, but I encourage you to come if you're if you're a longtime pro. It might be good to come get refreshers, relearn some things. It's such a you know our our house call is growing so much that it's hard to keep up. So I encourage you to come get refreshers. And if you're a new pro, this is this is awesome. Like there's so much to explore when you're setting up your account and. And getting up and going and so i encourage you to be here every week learn something new even if you've if you've seen some of these features maybe you had it in your onboarding call with parker or with phil or with jennifer um but still these are awesome refreshers we also have a help article that has all of our past recordings all of our past sessions uh you can check that out uh and watch everything on demand and in real time um lauren's in the comments i'll be monitoring the comments if anybody has any questions um, and I'm excited to talk about online booking today. We've had a lot of questions about that. It's also kind of been uh, a theme today. We were talking about super pros earlier internally here and how that got started. So really good theme for today. Um, before we get started, we have a new onboarding specialist joining us for the first time. So Parker, I want to give you a moment to personally introduce yourself. Hey, everybody. My name is Parker. I'm on the onboarding team here at House Call Pro. Been going on about three plus years now. I've seen the company grow, uh, my team specifically, from a team of eight dedicated onboarding specialists to, and now we're pushing about 50. So it's been an amazing ride with the company, uh, which is all in thanks and in uh, service of providing you a good onboarding experience, right? Helping you get into the, the program successfully and easily. So we're definitely here in your corner rooting for you and happy to speak about on uh, online booking here. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. Um, yeah, you might recognize Parker, some pros, you might recognize him, you might recognize Phil. Um, these same guys help us out with, with this session every week. Um, and like I said, I'll be monitoring the comments for the questions along the way. We'll also drop help articles to online booking, anything that might be helpful. Um, otherwise, Parker, I'm going to turn it over to you and we can get started. Excellent. Let's take it away. Well, online booking is a really great feature that you can use within House Call Pro. Um, and what it allows is for your customers to book jobs, estimates, uh, even while your doors are closed, right? Because we can't necessarily be open 24 seven, but we always wanna be available to catch work, to catch that revenue when it comes in. Um, and so online booking is a tool that we can use to support that. So how this will look uh, for our agenda today is we'll go through basically like an intro, we'll go through a little bit of setup, some additional features, uh, some frequently asked questions that I find people ask, you know, as we're going through this feature. And then uh, as Chris, I believe said at the tail end, we'll go through a demo uh, and then some Q&A as we kind of finish out the session here. <clears throat> so. What is online booking? Why should we consider it? Like I said earlier, it's a way for customers to book jobs and estimates, uh, even when they can't call you on the phone. Maybe there's an age demographic that doesn't like calling on the phone. They would much rather just book online. Uh, and we want to be able to catch that demographic, right? So uh, as we have here, you know, really astounding metric um, that 94% of customers are likely to choose a customer with online booking over a uh, business that doesn't. 78% of local searches on mobile devices convert into a purchase within 24 hours. That's an amazing statistic. So as business owners and operators, we definitely want to be getting a slice of that business and make sure that we're keeping pace with our competitors as well. So Online booking version two, maybe some of you were familiar with online booking in its previous form, um, but our product team and our product managers really have kind of like, in my opinion, knocked it out of the park with the new added functionalities that they've put in here. They've made it very easy to go through, kind of walk you step by step through uh, getting online booking off the ground and setting up what you need to succeed in that way. 
So effectively, like st setting up online booking, step one, we're going to uh, decide what services we're going to provide first and foremost. Out of our price book, what do we want to make available? Sort of like a menu to the customer. Now, sometimes we can get kind of granular with that if you want to, like, hey, we're going to do a service call or we're going to do a service estimate. Sometimes it can be better, though, to leave those services a little broad. Maybe the service is scheduling a diagnostic rather than a specific issue, um, because as you might, this may or may not be, uh, come as a surprise, but customers don't know what's wrong with their unit, uh, which is why they're calling you right? Because <laughs> if they could fix it themselves, they wouldn't need us. So uh, again, you can get it specific or broad as is appropriate for your business. Uh, you'll set up some booking settings here, i.e. booking rules on what hours you want to make available for people to book, what kind of size windows you want to do, uh, earliest availability, so on and so forth, kind of rule-based things like that. And then you can also preview uh, what the online booking will look like and work what's, once it's embedded into your website. <clears throat> now, all that is really great, but the internet is vast and wide and it's literally worldwide. And we are not worldwide, <laughs> right? You are local to your area. So enabling a service area where you're defined by zip code, what areas you're choosing to service with your online booking, super helpful, right? Because I've had some pros where, for example, maybe there's a zip code uh, where it's up in the mountains and they're actually like, hey, I want to service the main city. I don't want to be out in the rural mountain areas. And so I'm just not going to make that uh, an area that can book, right? They'll call me and I'll go if they ask me, but I don't want to really be advertising it. And this function allows you to be selective in that manner. Now, that's all well and good. We've set all this up within House Call Pro. We've set up our book, uh, you know, booking rules and done all this stuff. But then how do we get that onto our website? How do we share this with our customers? Well, within the online booking settings of House Call Pro, you'll see that there's going to be a bit of code here that you can copy, embed into your website in an area of your choosing. Uh, or you can also share this booking page as an external link. So that's super useful for if you wanted to include it in, let's say, like email marketing as a hyperlink. Uh, if you wanted to share it in a link online or, you know, wherever you're going to be posting this. So it's super useful in those ways uh, for publishing to your customers. So the next kind of uh, tracking bit that we have is a tracking attribute where you can generate a specific link. So that, that way you can really focus in on what marketing channels are getting you the most bang for your buck. Where are these online bookings coming from? Uh, because it's, it's useful for online bookings to happen, but wouldn't it be great if we knew the source of it? Hey, uh, this link on Facebook is doing super well. Facebook is where all of our business is coming from. Let's put more money in, in, in advertising there. Or maybe it's Google or Yelp, whatever the forum that you're advertising in, until you have that tracking attribute, it becomes hard to really segment uh, what's doing well and what's underperforming. So this kind of answers that question for you there. And then we do have a redirect option as well. So once a job is booked, we can decide, okay, let's take them back to our website or let's take them to a review page or maybe there's some before care options that we need them to take care of, right, or instructions. So you can kind of do it there. <clears throat> and then lastly, and I think this is honestly kind of like a favorite of mine, Reserve with Google is a super great um, function of online booking. If you've ever gone to a Google business listing, and you've seen this graphic here on their business listing. Well, it's gone away, but you'll see it come back in a second here, uh, where you can literally just from their Google business listing hit book now. Super useful, a lot of value to be gained there and takes them right to their uh, your online booking page. So we say, hey, Parker, that's all great. We love it, we're sold on it. I do have some concerns, right? And sometimes people will ask like, okay, well, I have a specific order that I want to kind of like put my services in from top to bottom. Can I do that? And the answer is yes. You can change the order of your services and categories. 
Uh, some people don't want to have prices shown on the online booking. They're afraid that perhaps it's going to scare the customer away or uh, they're going to get a little nervous. Well, what you can do is just turn show service prices off for uh, online booking. And then what you can do in order to get more online bookings is, you know, we've got some pretty good like best practices here, right? We want to position the online booking prominently where people can find it. We don't want to bury it down the page, right? We want it bright. We want it easy to find. Uh, you can include, like I said earlier, that online booking link in your media profiles, your email signature, your text messages, effectively anywhere somebody's going to see you, you want to give them the opportunity to give you their business. Give them your business, apologies. <laughs> um, you can also label your services in a way that's very clear. Uh, you know, your services, while we can be funny and we can put something like the, you know, the, the handyman special in there, uh, it's maybe not clear what that means. So we want what the service is going to be clear, concise, digestible, uh, and easy to understand. And then, like we said earlier, enabling reserve with Google is just a very easy way for customers to access your online booking directly with Google. Uh, customers are uh, really, really comfortable with the Google brand and having like the booking now button just embedded right in there. It's they're more likely to click it, in my opinion, because they're like, oh, well, it's on Google. It's got to be like vetted and good. Right. So, and then lastly, this is kind of a big one, uh, is how does the online booking tool support returning customers? And the answer is that it does. If a customer enters duplicate information in there, it will uh, understand that and see it and just say, hey, this is a returning customer and it's not gonna make like a duplicate customer that you need to merge or anything like that. So uh, with that being said, we can hop into a demo, but you know, like it says there, hey, before we switch gears, any questions, anything from the chat that we would like to, uh, to address before we hop in? Uh, I just see AJ in here. AJ, I did answer your question in the comments, but um, I just dropped that Zoom link for you. You can get registered. All of these recordings, by the way, live in Facebook where you're seeing this now. There's also a help article that we'll drop in a couple of minutes here that'll have all the recordings. So no worries if you have to go, uh, you'll be able to catch this later. Perfect. All right then, well, I can hop into our demo account and get the ball rolling here. So within House Call Pro, you know, maybe from the home page here, we'll start where we land whenever we open House Call Pro up. Uh, we would go over here to settings. And then on the left-hand rail is where online booking is going to leave or uh, live. So as you can see here, like we talked about in our presentation, first step there, it goes right to available, uh, available services. So what do we want to make available for our customers to select and purchase? And as you can see here, we can set the price, we can set the, the duration that we're planning this service to take, how long we'll be there. So that way it's, it's scheduling it appropriately. And whether we want to book this as a job or an estimate. Um, so typically, uh, because like we said earlier, customers don't necessarily know what's wrong with their unit or know how to fix the problem. Uh, booking, the, if, booking the job as an, as an estimate can be really helpful because we can provide a proposal to the customer. We can walk them up the value chain with maybe like a good, better, best proposal and say, you know, hey, we can do the basic model here, but maybe for a little extra, we'll take care of everything, right? So kind of step number one there. We also do have uh, available pricing forms here that can be incorporated into online booking. And pricing forms are a super useful feature that I uh, recommend going to maybe like the help center and researching a little bit on how to use them. Booking settings, super useful here, kind of the meat and potatoes of our uh, booking settings as the name implies, right? So as we talked about earlier, how do we stop duplicating customers with the same contact info? We would have this option up here and we can do some booking preferences here. Step one would be either some flexible scheduling or set a specific start time or a manual control there. Uh, flexible scheduling allows us to give a window of time, maybe from, you know, 
eight to five and looks like some of those are a little janky right now but uh, let's say we remove this and from 8 a.m to 4 p.m uh, we're going to say hey uh, we can get a job or an estimate booked in a two-hour window here right so super useful for that um, i typically recommend that when people turn on online booking that we start not small, but we start manageable. So maybe coming in here and doing two online uh, booking windows. So that way we're not over promising to our customers, right? We're scaling up, we're understanding how online booking is working. Um, and then once we understand that everything's working properly, bada boom, you can change it back to uh, just, you know, eight to four or whatever the case may be there. Now, We've got these windows set up, right? For maybe like eight, between eight and 11, somebody can book, between one and three, somebody can book. But what determines how many customers can book in that eight to 11 slot? And that's determined by how many customers we have, or uh, sorry, how many employees we have online booking turned on for. So if we have, for example, here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, people with uh, online booking availability turned on, that means that six customers could book in the same time slot. So maybe when we start, we want to have two turned on. So that way, again, we're not over promising. Uh, and then we do it for a day or two, it's working well, we bring another person on, and we scale to what's appropriate, right? So super useful functionality here as far as controlling how many customers we are going to allow to book online at a, in a given time slot. <clears throat> and then one, uh, one setting that I, I skipped over and I apologize for that is setting our earliest availability here. And this is, let's say somebody comes onto the website and they wanna say, oh, I wanna book, uh, a job for tomorrow. Well, they could do that because our earliest available is one day from today. Or if you want it the same day, you can set it the same day. Now, if you're going to set it the same day, you want to make sure that your team is highly responsive, that they can react to changes to the schedule uh, very, very quickly because those will come in. It's very common for one day out from today to be the earliest available, but uh, definitely it's uh, it's useful in that way. Uh, pricing, as we said earlier, you'll be able to show service prices or hide service prices in your online booking, and you can control that here. We can preview what the online booking flow will look like from this page. Add that to booking, for example. And from here, we can share our booking page, everything that we talked about in the uh, in the presentation, and then turning on reserve uh, with Google. Just managed right there and control. Excellent. And that's the basic setup flow for handling online booking. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Kyle, good to see you. Um, Y'all, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them. Mm -hmm. um, we just dropped a few links. Uh, with the help articles. Thank you, Lauren. Um, John Wilcox, I see you here too. Good to see you. Um, Parker, why don't we give everybody a second, see if there's any questions. Maybe we can go through some of those questions and answers. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Both. Yeah. So, sorry, while we're waiting or... Sorry, while we're waiting for any live questions, maybe we go through some of those. Go uh... through some of those. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So um, some questions that we got earlier was, can I still use the old online booking version? So the V1 uh, of online booking. If the old online booking isn't on your account, we are not able to restore that. It's been phased out and, and uh, it's kind of gone away. V2 is going to be what you're going to use moving forward there. Um, with the ability to uh, book office staff, because right now only the admin owners and the field techs can be booked. Uh, it's something that's in the works right now. So I don't have a timeline on that, but we do see the value, we see the need, um, and we're excited to offer that in the future. 
Uh, is there a way to prevent double booking when I have an event on the schedule? We want to make sure that that event, when we put it on the calendar, is assigned to the employee whose calendar you're looking to block off. A good way to manage that is using the Monday through Friday view and check the box that says view by employee because we'll put basically like a dispatch line or column into that day. So you can see each individual employee's availability. Uh, it's a really good view for capacity of the company as a whole. So definitely would recommend uh, that. And then the follow-up question there was, is it possible to block an employee out for online booking if they are scheduled off for the day? Uh, you can think of this like, I read this as PTO, or maybe they are uh, at a doctor's appointment. You can just use an event on their calendar to block that. And the calendar, or uh, sorry, online booking will know that this person is not available. When a <clears throat> customer does a online booking, can we turn the online booking into an estimate before going out? So definitely what I would say is if your workflow includes estimates as step one, we would want to have whatever service you're making available in online booking bookable as an estimate to begin. There's not really a good reason why we would do a job and then an estimate uh, and converting that over. So that would be my recommendation there. Uh, so right now we would also say if there is a way on the online booking to have a higher rate at different times, and the example of this person gives is when it is very hot, I want to charge more, or on the weekends I want to charge more or a different rate. Uh, currently there's not an automatic way to do this. Uh, for the hotter time periods, you know, increasing the price within the actual price book is probably going to be your best way moving forward. And then when you move out of your hot season, changing the pricing back to normal uh, might be the best solution for you. But there is, really isn't like an automatic way that we can accomplish that uh, with the way things are currently working. Um, we did get one question. Perfect. Uh, Amy was asking, does HCP cost more with online booking? Maybe we can give a clarification of the, the different plans. Yeah, definitely. So for online booking, uh, it works with our max plan, essentials plan. It does not work with our basic plan. So essentials and above are going to be how you're going to access that uh, function. It's not an add-on per se. It's just rolled into the features from those plans. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Kyle, thank you for dropping all your feedback too. Yeah, definitely. Surge rates, um, custom schedule calendars per service items. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's the other nice part about these sessions uh, is you can drop your feedback in here. We share any feedback we get during these with the product manager. Um, a lot of you probably recognize and know Kaja. She's she's the product manager of online booking. She's very active in our Facebook group. Um, so I'll be sure to pass all yeah. of this unless she sees it first, which and she very well knows. <laughs> Eagle eye Kasha, for sure. I would also say as somebody who's been here a long time uh, for everybody at home, like seeing the product grow and evolve over the years, it's always really great to see that the things that we build, I have always heard customers say, I would like this. I would like X. There's nothing really that I've seen House Call Pro build that just apparated out of nothing, right? Or like nobody talked about. Uh, it's it's all comes from your feedback, which again, we thrive on. Uh, without it, really, we're kind of not rudderless, but it drives us in a direction. So it's definitely always appreciated. Definitely. Um, yeah, it's grown so much. Exactly. Um, all right. Well, pros, if you have any other questions, I'll give you a, give it a second. But I want to remind you, if you're watching the recording, you're seeing this later uh, on Facebook, you can drop your questions in the thread. Lauren and I are, are sure to monitor it over the next few days. Uh, if you're catching this recording in the in the help center, uh, there's links to all of our help articles. Feel free join our Facebook group if you're not already a part of it. Uh, you can you can message me directly. You can message Lauren directly. You can make a post. Uh, be sure to answer your questions. 
Um, and then I also want to, I also want to highlight too, if you haven't gotten one of those, if you haven't signed up to get one of those powered by house call pro stickers, I'll drop the link to the post. Um, I'm giving a, one of those away to every pro that wants one. Um, so you got to comment on the post and you got to text me, uh, your, your name, your company name and your address, and I'll be sure to mail them out. I'm working on that right now. Um, uh, but yeah, every pro can get one of those. Uh, so let me know if you're interested in that. Um, otherwise, yeah. Uh, John, Kyle, Amy, uh, AJ, good to see all of you guys. Um, let us know too, what other topics you want us to cover in the coming weeks. Um, we're also working, one other thing we're working on is doing a, a quarterly employee onboarding session where any of your new technicians, new office staff can come and attend and we'll do a full session on, on just everything they need to know with the mobile app. Um, and then for your office staff uh, on the web version, uh, we think these will be really beneficial. So the first one will be in October, uh, I believe the first Thursday of October. So mark your calendars for that. More info soon. Lauren, thank you for dropping that link. Um, and Parker, thank you so much. Really enjoyed having you here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see everyone around. Have a great holiday weekend and take care. Take care.